Okay, so here is range water. <clears throat> just got here a little while ago, and um, the lights seem to be on and everything. So I just want to kind of give a quick show of the neighborhood here. So we're obviously in a cul-de-sac here. We're on a hill. We're on the very top of the hill. These are the three highest houses here. All the homes around look like they're in pretty good shape. It's about 4 o'clock right now, almost 4 o'clock. So I uh, have a really nice view right here. You can kind of see the hill country up there and you can see all the water towers and everything way out there but uh, let's take a look around so you can see the slope of the of the driveway so it does have a good slope up here we've got wood, wood I'm sorry we've got rock uh, through over the garage so I'm looking here I don't see it's pretty bright so I can't really take a good good look but from what I can see I don't see any cracks or anything like that on the mason work so we've got two car garage it seems in the front with one door we've got this utility box here we've got these cables the cable lines from the satellite dropping down i don't know nobody really uses satellite too much anymore They're probably just old need to get removed so we're going to take a look here's the front of the house Bushes seem to be trimmed up pretty nicely. Stone works. We do have an expansion joint right there, so that's good. Fence seems to be recently painted right here. This I don't know what happened here. That might be the gate or something. And we've got kind of a drop down to the neighbor's property. Well, let's go inside and take a look. I'm just going to point out um, some things here and there. <clears throat> about the home as we walk in so this i would update that that looks kind of original so we got a storm door it's not very clean you can kind of see i don't know if it comes out on the on the picture but i would probably have this like spick and span clean the door seems kind of a bit the front door seems kind of basic got a little bit of uh like insulation or some kind of glue there, so as we walk in, here's what we see. I do like all the arches and all the doorways. So here's the space that we were talking about, maybe making an office, right? Looks like they're using this as the formal dining space. It's got like a tray ceiling up here, pretty nice. Shutters, nice touch. I'm gonna guess these shutters pop out, yeah, so. That's nice. I'm sure it's going to go up and down. Carpet. I don't see any stains. Small one right there. So formal dining room. We'll work our way through the middle, kind of around. So Floor is a definitely hardwood floor, and it's got that hand scrape finish to it pretty nice looks pretty pretty well kept there's our kitchen area this is a pretty big space like from here to here nice living room space They've got like a little bar action here, but you still have all the space here that they're not using. Um, the joints on the crown molding probably could use a little bit of caulking to fill in those gaps. There's the stones. And uh, this one I don't know if it's gas or wood. I don't see any gas outlets anywhere, so it might be wood. I can see some ashes in there, so it just might be a wood-burning stove. I mean, I'm sorry, a wood-burning fireplace. So it seems like my feeling is it's a little dark. 
<clears throat> in here. I think it's a combination of the floors, right? The floors make it seem kind of dark. And I would probably repaint the whole house a lighter color. That way it doesn't seem so dark. The back door has a window film on it. So if you wanted to take that, that film off, just peel it off. It's pretty, pretty easy. The, the, uh, I guess this is like a breakfast area, right? Where you could have here, we've got tile, 12 by 12 tiles. What it looks like. And then the kitchen, we've got a good amount of cabinets up on the wall. We've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, I guess like eight and a half, nine and a half, like a 10. And then you've got these base cabinets as well. Cabinets look like they're in pretty good shape. storage oven looks like it's been cleaned but it's definitely had its days there mm -hmm. oh look we've got like a little coffee bar section here and then we go back to the formal dining room this is our pantry Nice walk-in pantry. It's a good size. So you can count the squares. Like I said, they're 12 by 12 squares. Kind of get an idea. Now the neighborhood itself, as I was driving in, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's got nice, nice views. Roads were pretty well kept, seemed like they were in good condition. Um, the neighborhood, the HOA, seems like they manicure and they, they take care of the, uh, the streets and the sidewalks and things like that. So here's the kitchen sink. Mm, looks like that is a, is a GE, I think. It might be a GE. Dishwasher. Sink seems pretty pretty deep. Pull out. And then we've got the kitchen island here. It's not a huge island, right? It's kind of small. Maybe like two by six or so. But I mean, I don't know if you need so much island space and you've got like all of this and that and then this too. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, um, let's see what else. Okay, let's see up here. We gotta double check to see if the refrigerator is conveying with the home. So this could be used as an office space too, it looks like. So you've got like a salon seating area and then also like your formal. I think this is the space that we were talking about for an office would be better because that way you're not right, not connected to the kitchen. All right, so we will uh, go outside. Now, you know what, let's do that because the pool's, the pool's out there. So let's go take a look at the rest of the interior and then we'll go outside, we'll do outside last. Okay, so here we've got utility room. Linen closet, storage closet, okay. So they're keeping their shoes there. Storage for your washer and dryer. Here's where they're keeping all of their stuff while they get the house ready to sell. Yeah, so it's just the two car. I thought maybe, maybe there'd be a tandem, but no, it's just the two car garage. because They've got some storage already installed. Water softener there. Here's your electric panel. I can't get to the panel because of all the stuff that they have right here. Uh, yeah, and it's got a LiftMaster chain fed uh, garage door opener. We've got a couple of steps here. One, two, water heater is here. It is electric. You can see it's plugged into the wall right there. Your water lines. Here's your, your water manifold is in here. 
you can see the flooring continues through the hallway with the wood floors. Half bath. Mm, they have a bidet. Okay. Under air condition. Filter. This isn't the right filter. I don't think it is because we've got some space over here. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's not my house, but I do see, you know, you got a little bit of gap right there. I got the extra filters there. That's good. Okay, so now we'll come into the primary. Carpet is definitely used, but you know what? Like it's a little bit matted, but it's uh it's clean. There's no stains or anything. You can tell they probably had it cleaned. Their TV in the corner. Got the guns right there. So I'm just have a little bit of wear on them. You know, I would probably just to make it a little bit more updated, I'd probably paint those cabinets. In, you know, in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. Crystal door. Toilet. Another bidet there. More storage. Oh, they've got a lot of storage in this house already. Texture on the walls. This is kind of what it looks like. It's not Monterey. It's almost like an orange peel texture. Here is the closet for the primary. Looks like this is where, it looks like this is her closet because I only see women's clothes here. And I saw a cigar container in, on the bar. So I think there's a guy here somewhere. Uh, this is the, he's got another closet somewhere. Oh, maybe his stuff is in here. Okay, so we've got crown molding too. I see that in here, crown molding here, 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 all the way around in the bedrooms and in the living areas. Okay, so let's go ahead and go outside in the back. Oops. Okay, here we go. So, deck needs a little bit of work. I wonder what was right here. Looking at the siding and the trim, it looks, I don't see uh, any wood rod or anything like that on the trim from what I can see here from my point of view. Rose bushes are nice. So it's all the same color, right? Your fascia, your soffit, your siding. Two, two AC systems.
stone on three sides, right? We don't have stone on the back or up on top. Looking at stuff like right here. It's not too bad. Fence over here looks new. This side. This is like my house. Like you keep all the stuff that you don't want anybody to see on the side. The retaining wall. Is on the back side and it kind of curves this way a little bit. These stones are actually cement cemented together around. So this formation here, it's not gonna move. I stepped on it and I thought it was gonna move and I realized now it's it's there. And then you've got this crushed gravel as a filler. Not sure what they were doing here. So yeah, some of the decking needs a little bit of work. They feel solid, like the boards underneath feel solid. Some of these probably just need to get replaced. And we've got uh, rain gutters on the back side of the house. There's your pumps right here. Let me take a look. So these pant pumps should be painted and covered. You don't want this stuff exposed to the ultraviolet, this PVC. It'll start turning brittle over time. Jacuzzi is a pretty good brand. Uh, the pump system seems pretty basic. I don't see anything too special about it. I don't see any water leaking anywhere underneath. So, okay, they do have a little bit of a little bit of ventilation. You always want to make sure you have some ventilation going underneath, because if not, it's gonna it's not gonna last very long. It'll start riding out on you. So it looks like that they do have some ventilation in there. Okay, let's take a look at the pool itself. I'm looking for separation between the the side, the concrete, and the actual uh, stones around the pool. Looking for cracks. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, this pool looks really good. And it's kind of a warm day today, so it'd be nice to jump in. The shape is pretty cool too, right? It's not like a, just a regular peanut shape or square or rectangle. It might be a shell. I'll bet it might be a shell pool instead of a concrete. But no, the pool looks good. The bricks here too are pretty nice. A little cobblestone look there. But let's go upstairs and take a look. I think uh, so far I really don't see anything on the exterior that's like, uh-oh. Having a swimming pool, you know, there's always... You know, having a pool is just another thing that you need to be aware of, and that looks like it's pretty well taken care of. So, I do like the stairs. It's all one level. A lot of times, this piece right here will be taller. It'll be higher than this part, so it'll kind of feel awkward as you're stepping up. But, um, this looks like he might have freshly painted it. It looks like it's pretty fresh. But let's go up and take a look. So, nice stairs. So we know there's one bedroom downstairs. The primary is down. Here's our game room.
This person looks like they're a tra this fa family looks like they're a traveling family. Got the tray ceiling up here. It's a large fan. Okay, so we'll go left to right again. Storage closet, where there are other games. Bedroom number two. Looks like they're using it as an office. Got like some little stains up in here on the wall. Maybe they tried doing some touch-ups and didn't quite get that color match. Perfect. But the floor, it's not the same type as downstairs, but it is, does seem like it's a solid wood. It's not laminate. It doesn't look like a laminate. Our second AC system here. It's got the bigger filter. That looks kind of new. Bathroom. It's pretty clean considering it's pretty owned. like that well they they love their their bidets I've seen one oh, I think this tile is cracked right there because when I stepped you heard it I still it kind of popped and actually yeah there's a crack right there So as I step on it, I can see it open up a little bit. So this tile probably would need to get replaced. <clears throat> there's a good chance that there's more tile in the attic because a lot of the builders leave tile and laminate flooring and stuff in the attic just as like spares in case something breaks. But you know, the carpet seems like it's in pretty good condition. It's used, I mean, there's a few little small stains here and there, but it's not too bad. I'm always a big proponent of replacing the, the carpet when you move into a house. But that uh, would be up to you all. Two closets. This bed is a full-size bed. So you got plenty of room over here and over here. This is a good size room. I've seen master bedrooms this size. Okay, so here's bedroom number four. I do like that it's got two extra windows here. And you got like this little cubby space, like an office, gaming space, computer space. I don't see, I haven't seen any cracks. Oh, right when I said that, little teeny tiny thing right there. At, that's the only thing I've seen. I've been looking for cracks and uh, drywall breaks and stuff here and there, but I, ha I haven't seen anything. So I think the foundation is pretty good here. All right, I think that's pretty much the whole house. I would say yes to this one. I don't see anything wrong with it. That, you know, makes me like, oh, this is bad. Let's get out of here. It's pretty good. The only thing is maybe just the carpet. And even then, that's not that, it's not that bad. But house has a, a little bit of a smell to it. I don't know if they have pets or if it's just the carpet. A lot of times, just pulling out the carpet and once you get the furniture out of the house, I mean, and then just have it cleaned, it's not bad. But it's definitely worth a look, I believe. All right, so I think we're done. Okay, I'm kind of just cleaning the windows. I'm a little picky. I'm a picky guy. 
yard's a little sloped down a little bit. But really, you're not going to be in the front yard much. You're going to be in the backyard most of the time.